Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Thing YouTube channel. Today we're solving 1609 even odd tree. A binary tree is named an even odd tree if it meets the following conditions. The root of the binary tree is at index level zero, its children are at index level one, and their children are at index level two, so on and so forth. For every even index level, all nodes at the at this level have odd integer values in strictly increasing order from left to right. For every odd index level, all the nodes at the level have even integer values in strictly decreasing order. Return, given the root of a binary tree, return true if the binary tree is even odd, otherwise return false. So this problem, while a bunch of text and it's really just meant to confuse you, even index, return it, odd values and odd index even values is actually quite simple. Now let's look at an example and go through the criteria. So we have level zero here. So obviously level zero is even. Uh, so we need to have odd integer values. So let's check, is this one odd? It is, and there's actually only one value here. So we don't have to worry about anything. For level one, obviously this is an odd level. So all the values should be even and they should be strictly decreasing. So all the values are even, 10 and four. And we can see that they're strictly decreasing from left to right because 10 is the biggest element, then it goes to four. So this level is okay. Then we have level two. Again, this is an even index level. So we should have odd values. So three, seven, nine, and they should be strictly increasing. So three, seven, nine, this is fine. It's strictly increasing. The last level, level three, again, it's an odd level. So they should have even in even integer values in strictly decreasing order. So that means that, let's see if they're decreasing. So 12, okay, eight, that's smaller than 12, six, smaller than eight, and two, smaller than six. Perfect, so this one would be true. And essentially, that's really the algorithm. You're just checking level by level the conditions. Uh, this is just a, you know, polished up level order traversal, but you just have a little bit extra. If it's an odd level, you just need to check whether all the elements on that level are odd and whether they're strictly increasing. If not, you can just return false. The tree is not an even odd tree. And we're just gonna check these conditions for every single level as we traverse it. We're just going to use a simple BFS here to, and to do a level order traversal. Um, and yeah, relatively simple. We just keep track of the, the current level, whether it's even or odd and apply our logic based on that. And basically, if ever we find a point where the constraint is invalid, we return false. Otherwise, if we're able to get through the whole tree, then it must be an even odd tree. So we just return true. So that is the approach we want to take. Coding it is pretty simple. We're going to follow the same uh, template that we use for basically any level order traversal. We're going to have to keep uh, track of a few extra things at each level, but it's really not too much extra. So I will see you in the code editor and let's type this one up. All right, we are now in the code editor. Let's type this up. First thing we want to check is uh, whether or not we have a root. If we don't have a root, then by definition, it's an even odd tree. Uh, so we're going to say if not root, uh, we can simply just return true. Okay, so to do this, we're going to need to keep track of the current level because we need to know whether it's uh, an in, uh, even index or an odd index. So let's define a variable. So we'll say the current level is obviously going to start at zero. And we also need a queue for actually storing our um, items. And that's how we're gonna do the BFS. So we're gonna say collections.deck, oops, and it's initially going to be starting at the root. Now what we wanna do is actually code up uh, our BFS traversal. So while we have something in the queue, uh, we want to basically check whether this current level, which we're going to parse, is an odd level or an even level. So we're gonna say odd level is going to equal to whether the current level modulo two is equal to one. So if an element, if any integer modulo two equals to one, that means it's odd. Um, so this is how we're gonna check whether we're on an odd L level <clears throat> or an even level. And we also need to basically keep track of the previous number that we've seen such that we can compare at any given point whether or not it's uh, greater than it or less than it, depending on the level. Remember we have um, conditions that we need to keep track of. So we're gonna say the previous scene is going to equal to float infinity if we have an odd level. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be float minus infinity. And the reason that we're using float infinity is because on an odd level, all of the values should be strictly increasing. So float infinity is the smallest possible value that we could get. And then uh, for the even levels, they need to be strictly decreasing. Um, so that's why we are doing 
uh, minus infinity. So they need to be increasing when it's uh, an even level, otherwise decreasing when it's odd, right? I think that was the thing, e odd index, strictly decreasing, yes, okay, cool. All right, so now we need to just process all of the current items um, on our current level, and the way that we do that is we're just gonna say for something, it doesn't really matter, because we're not gonna keep track of that item, uh, in range uh, len q, Basically, this is going to help us process all of the elements uh, that were on the queue when we started processing a level. Obviously, we add elements as we go through each one, but we actually don't want to over um, add, uh, sorry, over process, which is why we have our for loop, which is only going to start, um, which is only going to allow us to process a level um, for however many nodes were at the start of it. And, this is just how we do level order traversals. So we're going to get the current node and we're going to say q.popLeft uh, to get the node. And now basically if it's an odd level, we need to do one thing. If it's an even level, we need to do another. So let's take care of the logic for actually handling the odd level. So we're going to say if we have an odd level, remember that all of the levels on the odd level actually need to be even and they need to be strictly decreasing. So let's check that we have that uh, happening. So we're going to say if the current node dot value uh, modulo two does not equal to zero. So if this value is basically odd, or the current nodes value is actually greater than or equal to whatever the previous scene was, then we know that we violated our constraint here because it's not either even and it's not strictly decreasing. So we return false. Otherwise, uh, obviously we have an, oops, this is the wrong else. Uh, otherwise we have a um, even level and we need to apply a, basically a similar check. So we're gonna say if the current node, so on an even level, all the nodes need to be odd. So if the current node dot val uh, modulo two does not equal to one. So if it's not odd or the current node dot value is actually not less than or equal to the previous scene, uh, then we can return false. Otherwise, we are happy with that our current node um, satisfies the conditions for our tree and we can actually move on. So we can update our previous scene at this point. And we're gonna say current node.val and we're gonna say, now we can add the left and the right uh, subtrees if they exist. So we're gonna say if current node.left, we're gonna say q.append um, cur node.left and then we're gonna say if cur node.right, we're gonna say q.append cur node ah, dot right. Okay, cool. And the last thing we need to do before we actually um, move on to the next kind of iteration through our queue in the while loop is simply um, as soon as kind of, oops, uh, oops, did I mess up my indentation? Yes, this should all be indented. How did that happen? Okay, so before we kick off the next iteration of our while loop, we just need to increment the current level plus one. Um, and then once the while loop breaks, either we'll have returned false because our um, conditions were violated, or we can simply just return true. And if I can just find the right index place indentation, I think that's it. No, it should be this one, maybe? Yes, okay, let's just run it and see. Okay, cool. And we can submit this and cool, we are accepted, perfect. So last thing we need to do, as you guys know, is the time and space complexity. So as with basically any BFS traversal, uh, level order, we're going to be touching every single node. So the time complexity here is going to be big O of n, where n of course is the number of nodes in the tree. Uh, for the space complexity, obviously we have the Q and this is going to be you know, determined, um, the amount of things we have in the Q de determines, uh, is determined by how many elements are in our tree. So obviously this is also gonna be uh, big O of n. So that is how you solve this problem. Again, this is just a glorified level order traversal. They're trying to confuse us. Even levels need to have odd values and they need to be strictly decreasing. Odd va levels need to have even values, blah, blah, blah. It's really just confusing you. Uh, but in reality, all it is is just a level order traversal. The algorithm is the same. You just need to keep track of a few different elements and basically, oops, what the hell did I just do? And apply a um, if statement and check a few things. but nothing we can't handle. So 
that is the uh, video. If you enjoyed this one, why not leave a like and a comment? It helps me out with the channel. Subscribe to help me grow, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.